here we go. Time for the Siri animation mic tutorial. Uh, we start out with Photoshop. In Photoshop is where we're going to create our image for the Siri mic. It needs to be 188 by 188. At that point you will want to make your shape. I'm going to do a real simple one for the tutorial with just three layers basically. Uh, first layer is going to be the bottom of the microphone. And so we make our circle for the bottom of the microphone. And of course we need our layers tool on. At that point, let's just do a simple gradient, bevel emboss, contour, inner shadow, make it however you want in the, in the real one. This is just for the tutorial. And we do want to make sure that it is 100% centered as the Siri animation for thinking is off the center of the mic. background we will name this layer back yes SP we do name layers sometimes in Photoshop the next will be the middle animation which in this case we will just do another circle of whatever we want there we will make it in the center again and this one we will just do uh, let's just do a normal color overlay let's make it one of my favorite colors And then we will name this layer animation. And the final layer, we will do another circle. Also centered. And for that one, let's just do another overlay, beveled emboss, give it a little shadow, make it look like a button basically, and name it top. Alright, next we do need to at this point um, save the images individually, so we'll call this one here. Name this folder Siri Demo. And we will then individually save the layers. And yeah, I don't use shortcut keys, you can kill me, whatever. So we have our top PNG. You can use whichever course you want to use there. I just made it simple for the tutorial. Again, I do have some Siri mark mics with, you know, 50 layers. This is super simple for the sake of the demo. Save our animation PNG. And then our back. That's it for Photoshop. So we don't need to save this. I'm not going to ever use this mic as it's a little simpler than I normally choose. But the next magic happens in After Effects and this is where it gets quite interesting and fun.
in After Effects, we do need to create a new composition. Again, we need our 188 by 188. And frame rate, whatever you choose, honestly, doesn't matter at this point because we're saving individual frames. Uh, but you do want your duration to be set to 100 frames per second. And that's perfect there. I'll call it Siri Demo. View it at 100% or up to 100. And then we're going to import our three images from our demo. At that point, just place them in their stack order here. So we have back, animation, and top. Now what we're going to do for this mic, the way Siri mic works is basically there is a hundred images for the listening animation. At that point, um, it's essentially based on volume. So zero being the softest, hundred being the loudest. So for this one, what we can do is a simple animation to make our blue shape grow based on the volume of your voice. So at zero frames we will set our scale down to just out of view behind the top layer and we set our keyframe or key marker here. It's very important obviously. At a hundred frames we will then scale it up to a hundred. So we now have our animation of growth per sound and Basically, that is how Siri will animate as we speak. So, you can get the idea. Um, I do prefer to use After Effects Easy E F9 or Function F9 on Mac uh, just to make it a bit smoother. If you don't know what that is, I recommend videocopilot.net to learn about After Effects. Um, now that we have that animation, um, really that's it for the listening part except in the listening animation uh, graphics there are actually a hundred and twenty images the first hundred are the very uh, more specific images and then there are twenty that is just a replication of the original hundred but with five less frames per animation so to create that effect what we need to do here is take all three layers and we will pre-compose them, uh, move all attributes, we'll call this Siri Final. And now what we need to do is actually take our composition settings. We need to at this point make it a hundred and twenty frames which will then allow us to replicate this animation for 20 more frames and to do that we need to duplicate it so command D on Mac we want to then at this point take the layer adjust the time on a time stretch we want to make it actually a new duration of 20 frames and then move it to the end now it will snap into place so you don't have to worry about it uh, being exact but make sure it is exact and now we have the original hundred and the quick twenty at this point um, that animation is ready to render and before we do that we want to create our folder so we create a new folder we'll call it We'll call it, let's just call it Siri Demo Theme. And in that folder, we then need our bundles. We need the com.apple.springboard bundle as that's where the images will be saved. 
back in After Effects now. We want to go to add the composition to our render queue, and this is where After Effects is going to make 120 images very easy for us. We're going to do a PNG sequence. Um, RGB and alpha, very, very important. Otherwise, you will have your black background in your Siri mic, which you do not need. We go to OK. Now, After Effects has almost completed this for us. So, the next thing we need to do is change this to Assistant Listening hyphen leave our um, pound symbols there that's going to actually create the sequenced images underscore two oops two only underscore and of course dot png is set already and we want to save it in the springboard we do that we hit our render button and just like that 120 images perfectly named will show up here we have all of our assistant listenings 100 through 120 or 119 excuse me because it starts at zero um, all perfect we need to basically just repeat that one more time by going back into our composition add to render queue repeat the same steps PNG sequence, RGB and alpha, very important. This time we will name it Assistant Mike Listening hyphen underscore two only underscore dot PNG. At that point, we will then again render. And actually, I want to make sure I am in the right folder, and I am. Render. We now have 240 Siri animation images completely saved properly with the correct names. At that point, the next animation would be the Siri thinking animation, which is essentially a then 60 image animation 60 frames per second it's when the Siri mic spins the little lights around it um, I tend to do a mod of the original animation as I think it's better than most of what I can create on my own actually um, I have done some others but that's the best way to do it and as you can see it's time to make coffee to, for tomorrow at that point um, I will do the Siri thinking animation in another tutorial uh, this is just the basics as far as the original mic animation but there is more to come uh, on bad gigabit TV so please check us out subscribe link comment come visit the site www.badgigabit.com follow us online at bad gigabit team um, we're there for all your questions and everything. Uh, more After Effects and a little bit more in detail to come, but this was just the uh, initial launch of it. So you guys take care and have a safe and enjoyable time.